Welcome to EMS Office Hours. This is Jim Hoffman, and these are your Monday Minutes. Guys, today we're heading into trauma, and this is going to be kind of a big section broken up into basic trauma stuff, and then things like extremity trauma, burns, things like that. So it's going to be a little bit. I'm going to try to make these nice and short so you can get the most out of this content. Um, of course, I would love to talk about why this stuff is important, right? And while we're going to focus it on the connects of trauma today, just kind of very basic stuff, it's still important, right? And it's not just because I'm giving you some key stuff you're going to see on exams, but it's also to help you make better clinical decisions, understand what's going on with patients, your reports, your interactions with other healthcare providers, and of course, to build your knowledge base and to move that knowledge needle just a little bit all the time, right? So just some quick stats, guys. Um, so trauma is the fifth leading cause of death uh, nationwide. 60% um, of it is childhood deaths, like things from MBAs and chokings and things like that. And 80% of that's are from account for teenage deaths, okay, especially motor vehicle collisions. Um, so I'm not going to get into like trauma centers and stuff like that. I want to kind of just talk about more of the kinetics of trauma. And this is that prediction, you know, when we try to predict injuries based on um, uh, uh, forces, emotions of energy, and what we can predict as far as the injury patterns that result from that, okay. Um, and perform an overall assessment of the scene and, and, and the, the kinetics of the trauma and the situation that we're, we're viewing, okay? Um, the kinetic energy, we talk about that, you might see that a lot, okay, or hear about that. That's that when it refers to an object's weight and speed, when the weight is actually the mass and the speed is the velocity. And there's a formula for that, I'm not going to get too technical into that, okay? Uh, just kind of know that speed is that determining factor when you start trying to predict damage that occurs, okay? So speed is the biggest thing, right? Um, just kind of keep that in mind when we talk about speed and weight and stuff, okay? Um, we talk about Newton's first law of motion. You might have heard this before, which is the body at rest will stay at rest and the body in motion is going to stay in motion until it becomes acted upon by an equal or an opposite force, okay? And then the second law is when you've got that, uh, talk about energy, okay, where energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it can change its form, okay? And the form of energy, usually you talk about things like mechanical, thermal, electrical, or chemical, okay? So again, guys, just as a real quick um, overview, I want to get into the kinetics of trauma a little bit, give you some of the high points here, all right, um, and I also want to put here too about the, the, when we talk about the second law of motion, where we talk about the, the force of the effects of acceleration or deceleration, okay, and I put this formula here, which is that mass times acceleration is one, and then mass times deceleration is the other. Okay, again, this is the second law where we talk about force and the effects of acceleration or deceleration. Okay, guys, things that just kind of keep in the front of your mind when you're taking exams, when you're trying to document things, okay, and when you're doing your assessments on trauma calls to try to kind of predict and figure out what might be going on with that patient you have, depending upon the mechanism of injury you hear so much about, right? The mechanisms of that injury, okay? Um, so, guys, I'm going to end it there. I want to get into some of the more stuff on trauma next week uh, when we get a little bit more into the to the weeds with it, okay? And talk about things like the types of trauma, MVCs, you know, the types of collisions, restraints, stuff like that. We're going to talk about that next week. So let me wrap that up here. Um, guys, <clears throat> I hope you engaged me connect with me on social media. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at EMS Safe on both those channels and you can connect with me on Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash the EMS professional. Um, also guys, I, right now 
at terromatic.com I've got a trial membership going on there if you want to get gigabytes of digital content hours of audio and video practice exams and exclusive access to me with webinars and and the private Facebook group um, I have a trial membership there go check it out if you think you want to go ahead and use something like this to help move your knowledge base to do better on exam, be more confident in the field. Go to emsseo.com forward slash turbo and that'll get you to the trial membership page there. Explains all the details there. All right, guys, that's it for me. As always, I am Jim Hoffman for EMS Office Hours in the Monday Minutes. If you've got some minutes of your own, send them over to me. It's contact at emsofficehours.com and be sure to visit the main page at emsofficehours.com for other Monday Minutes and, of course, the EMS Office Hours podcast. All right, guys, that's it. As always, Jim Hoffman, 